Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today as we read John chapter 19. John chapter 19, I think, is the the climax or just what Jesus was pointing towards the uh, every time that he spoke to his disciples, that he told them what was to happen. And I think it's very important that we read this chapter in the light of everything that he had mentioned previously. In this chapter, however, we see how Pilate was kind of pressured into into doing this uh, into crucifying jesus and by the by the people right he was pressured to he really did not want to he said it many times that he sees no fault in this man however he was pressured into doing it and we see all all the ways he was treated all the ways that that they they did him wrong that they did jesus wrong and i think even in the cross jesus continued to show that love and and compassion towards everyone even when uh, his mom was there and, and she said, woman, here's your son. And then he told him, here is your mother, right? And he, he was always, always, always uh, had compassion and love towards everyone. But Jesus knew that this had to happen. He knew that this was supposed to happen. I think as I read this chapter personally, it's it causes uh, emotion. It causes sadness. But I think one of the things that it should cause is joy and, and happiness that and especially in the next chapter it's just happiness that jesus conquered everything right but as we read this chapter specifically it's it's sad to see how people mistreated the messiah who was there to help who was there to just do anything positive in the people right so i think if there's one thing that we take out of john 19 out of the many things i think the most important thing is is to is that we learn the love that Jesus had has for us in dying on the cross, the love that he has for you and for me, and how all the prophecies that, that were in the Old Testament had come to, to light and everything was, was exactly as it had been said. And I think it's very important that we understand how the Bible is so, 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 uh, it's, it's just true to what it says, but also the fact that in, in, in spite of everything, Jesus died on the cross for you and for me, and that is for everyone else as well. So, family, I hope you have an awesome Wednesday, and God bless.